y'all. Hey, happy Friday. Happy Friday. How y'all doing? Y'all, I was trying to wind the day down. I was fixing me something to eat. I got those garlic wings, y'all, from Walmart. So I got me four of them in the air fryer right now. And I got these cucumbers, which is gonna be my dinner, but I'm hungry right now, so I just thought I'm eating it all out of order. I'm gonna eat these cucumbers right now. Let me say my great shout out, I'll start talking to y'all. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day, Lord. I thank you for another week. Successful, Lord. Thank you for letting us see this Friday, God. Thank you for everyone that is here, Lord God, today. We ask you to bless them, Lord, where they may have a need, God. I thank you for the food that I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, in Christ's name, amen. I told y'all that I uh, thought I knew who was getting my garbage can off the street. I for surely, I caught him um, the other morning, I was still here. And when the garbage can ran, they ran like at seven something. I worked from home. And so I looked out the window and surely my neighbor down two houses down come trotting down the street and put my garbage back can up on the street. So and now I know for sure who it is. I'm going to do something special for them. I think I'm going to have them something sent. I hadn't been to bingo in a couple of months. I've been real strict kind of on my spending as far as extra spending for myself. And so, you know, with me paying for this fence. And I see one of those boards don't seem to be on right. And I, um, have saved, you know, for a couple of months when I really want to do something. And so last week, I said, ooh, I'm going to go to Big Home. Of course, I end up not going, and I um I didn't go, and so I thought about going tonight. But it's just something about when you get off and you just want to relax, and you're at home. And then I went in and paid my utility bills. I paid the gas. It's two companies here. You pay the city of Olive Branch for your gas and stuff, and your garbage and all of that. And you pay North Central for your electric. So I went in and paid those. You're like, I don't pay these bills. You get paid, you done paid all your bills. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna sit here at the house. And I think I want to watch that um uh, Queen Latifah and Ludacris movie on Netflix. And I tell y'all what I had on these, I sprinkled some lemon pepper on them. I got hooked on the lemon pepper on these and uh, some um, creamy Italian dressing. So I think after I eat, I'm gonna prop my feet up on that almond, get me a blanket, and I am going to um, watch that movie on Netflix. And I got some Skinny Pop popcorn, I'm gonna get that, and uh, Amber buys that popcorn. Y'all, what kind of microwave popcorn do y'all like? We were talking. She likes the movie Butter Theater on my popcorn. I don't like, I don't even like butter on my popcorn at the movies. So when we would go to the movies, I like to just get my, my, my popcorn out of the container before they put the butter on. I don't like all that butter on my popcorn. And the funny part about it is when I bought microwave popcorn for me, I would buy movie Butter Theater and all that butter for them. But I would buy me the natural kind. And Ack used to have a natural can, and I like that. I just like, I like plain air pop popcorn. I don't need no butter on it. So, that's all she had in there, but I do have some bags of a little skinny pop, popcorn. And I'm going to pour me up some tea and prop up with my little bag of popcorn and watch that movie. Y'all, recently... I had a conversation with someone. I've had several conversations with a couple of people. And I realized that this is the type of person I've been over the years. And I would always, my brother and daughter both said something to me because you know, I told y'all I stopped dealing with some people last year. And I told them at the time, you know, I'm just going to stay to myself. 
And I'm, you know, I love these people still, and I still wish them blessings on their life. Pray for blessings on their life. I don't wish them the best. I just don't like drama in my life. I like peace. Unnecessary. And so, at the time, I told them both, you know, y'all do whatever y'all want to do. It has nothing to do with you. I'm just standing myself. So, <laughs> oddly enough, they both said to me, you were the reason I always we went around. You always telling us to call a person. I'll go see the person. I'll come go with me here. I'll go here. It's such and such birthday and it's that. And it was so funny because somebody's birthday had passed. And my brother said to me, you know, I didn't think of a thing of it. He said, because you would be always the one reminding me. He said he saw it somewhere. He said, you will be always the one reminding me to call such and such as their birthday or do this and that. Or you would always say, come go here or come go there. You know, you're the reason why we've been doing this for years. <laughs> and I realized that recently I had a situation where I got together with some friends and I realized that I was the kind of um, middleman in between the friends, right? I'm always trying to keep everybody connected you know just look over that part look over this and look over that and i made up in my mind i said you know what the house might tell you you know it's almost like a i felt guilty that i have kind of maybe forced these people to be around people are not saying i don't love people but be with people and be relational people they didn't really want to be in relationships with you know, and that's the same. I'm not going to force people to be friends with anybody. If y'all not talking to each other, then y'all don't talk to each other. I'm not going to be the same. Well, you know, come go so-and-so and talk to so-and-so or do this and talk to that person. I'm just not going to do it anymore. You know, because I don't want people to feel like just because of the relationship they have with me, they got to be forced to have a relationship with somebody else that they not necessarily won't need to have a relationship with. Because I guess if they did want to have a relationship, would they be trying to have one, wouldn't they? It wouldn't take me to be that person to keep their relationship going. Because I'm like, if I die, God forbid, is y'all relationship going to die? Are y'all going to keep in contact with each other? So I've made up in my mind that. As much as, I don't care who it is. I just don't, I'm just not going to be that person. And I, uh, so, I had someone call me and they were telling me about how they were feeling about a certain situation. And this is how I deal with it. And so I was saying, well, I don't deal with things like that. You know, I, of course, the person was kind of down. And I was like, you know, I told y'all before, if you won't call me, then I'm not the person to call. If you won't straight out of the dumps, don't call me. I'm not that person. So I didn't tell that person nothing about what they needed to do or how they needed to deal with it or whatever. What I said was, this is how I would deal with it. This is how I deal with things. That I, this is how I deal with that situation. I'm not getting ready to listen to you bringing me down in the dump. So you trying to stay in the dump. I'm trying to tell you, this is why I stay positive. This is why I move. It's not that I don't have bad days. I have to fight sometimes to keep myself out of the dumps, to keep me from being down. I have to fight through that. I have to have a choice that I'm going to be positive, that I'm going to think something great's going to happen. I'm going to think something good is going to happen. Or it's going to be a better day. The day is going to turn around. And so that's what I'm trying to tell you. And if I allow your negative energy in to drain me dry, then what else going to leave me? No, we can't do that. We're not doing that over here. So I think, and, and I, I, I acknowledge that. I acknowledge that to the person in the conversation. I say, I recognize that sometimes they get on people's nerves. And if it does, I'm just not the person that you need to be calling. Don't call me, please. Just find you somebody else to dump your depression on because if you want to tell me about it, be prepared to hear something. I'm about to be motivated and I'm about to be positive. Because what good is that you calling me and you feel just as bad when you call me and then I'm down in the dumps too listening to your bad feelings. I don't know. Anyway, so that was that for that. Are y'all like that? Do y'all try to mend relationships with people? Try to make sure people keep relationships going? I want to tell y'all today to stop it. 
and I saw something. I saw something, a word on, I think it was Facebook Reels. And it was like, this is the person a part of your back past or a part of your destiny. And that you can have people in your past and you can love them and you can care about them, but they're not moving forward with you in your life. They're not moving forward. They don't want to see good for you. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to be a part of your life, you know. And so they're not necessarily just because you care about them. They're part of your past don't mean that you have to go with them into your future. So that was an interesting little TikTok. An interesting word. And this got me thinking on myself and some self-reflection. So, do you take time out to self-reflect on how you really are? And I had to think about something. Who fault is it? Who fault is it really if you allow a person to continue to hurt you? you the person that showed you who they are, right? You allow them to continue to hurt you, exclude you from things, not be there for you you know, not celebrate your wins. If you continue to allow this person in your life and you continue to be hurt by them, you know, excluded by them, who fault is it? Is it theirs or yours? And what I had to say, you know what, no, it's not their fault. That's all on you, boo. Because a person is going to only do what you allow them to do to you. And you have to love yourself enough to say, no more, I'm not doing this. You got to go. I care about myself enough to want something better for my life. You know? So. Because I was just thinking, would you rather be around somebody? I don't care if it's family or if you're in a relationship with somebody. Would you rather be around somebody this is your last day on earth, right? You'd rather be around somebody that don't really care about you, don't really want you around, treating you any kind of way. Would you rather spend a day alone and enjoy your last day here or just be with somebody, just to be with somebody that treating you like crap and you're not really feeling good? I myself would rather be alone and enjoy. I don't know. And like I'll say, I don't, one thing about me, I'm single and I have a lot of married friends. I have a lot of married friends with a lot of problems in their marriage and relationship. <clears throat> Not one of them can ever say I told them, yeah, leave your mate, leave your mate. I said, you know, you and God that can work it out. I've learned that over the years I've observed people. A person will rarely, they're going to complain about a person. But until you actually get tired of getting tired of being sick and tired, are you going to do something about it to change your life? So what am I going to sit up and try to tell? And I can't change another person, and neither can you. So what I have, my general conversations is, how are you going to react to that? What are you going to do about your life? What are you going to do? Are you going to go to counseling? I say, yeah, y'all both could use counseling, but are you going to go to counseling? How are you going to manage through this? How are you going to change to be able to accept the things that you can't, you can't change about this person? You need to pray and ask God to condition you if you're going to stay. These are my conversations. I'm not saying this person is this and that and that. And I may tell you, I don't care for how the person's treating you. But as long as you're with them, I'm going to have respect for them. I'm going to treat them right. But I don't necessarily agree with what they're doing. But hey, I'm going to always treat them right. Because... You know what they'll be and got over it and stayed with the person and you be mad as all I was on 1050 board about it. But I don't I don't I don't do that. And ain't none of my friends could ever tell me. I may be thinking it in my head, you should leave that joker. I would leave you know, I may be thinking, but I am not gonna tell nobody that that's the truth thing. Don't come between nobody marriage and tell folks to leave. And I apologize to one somebody because this was a friend. And I did apologize to them. Because I did tell them, if you know you got married to somebody on the rebound, you should tell them the truth and you should leave. But you know what? I apologized to them. I told them I was wrong. That was not my place. 
It was not my place. Because that's your decision. You have to decide that. That's your conscience. You know. And that was the one time I've told somebody that. And like I said, I apologize to them for what I'm saying. <coughs> Did I agree with their actions? For saying they married somebody for the wrong reasons? No, I didn't agree with it. And I was just telling them what they should do and how they should move. What I felt I would do what was right. But, you know, I was still wrong for telling somebody. Don't come between nobody and marriage. Just sit. You can be a listening ear to somebody, but. No. And it's not a representative, y'all. Don't. You might not want to let people, if you're single, let people, marry people, dump their issues on you and tell you about all their problems because it sours you sometimes against marriage. I myself have been married, so I know you're going to have good and bad marriage. I know marriages can be good. So me hearing that, I'm like, well, this is what you choose to deal with in your marriage, you know. But sometimes it's not good for you to listen to that because you... You know, you may not think that that's all there is. And there are some good marriages out here, you know. So don't think that that, that represents the whole. Just because you may have friends that's going through. Because had I not known, and this all I hear is about infidelity, emotional abuse, financial abuse. Um, every time you don't do something that don't go my way, I'm going to leave you and... I'm going to do this if you don't change. And well, it's just a <laughs> child. <laughs> It'll make you think that's all it is, but it's not. Yeah, I'm going to church Sunday. I told y'all I went to church Sunday, right? I saw this church on Facebook. Y'all, that wasn't even the church. It so happened that the church that I went to is actually on Facebook. Well, I saw the ad again. I told y'all I looked for a Sunday and... I couldn't find it. Well, I saw the ad again, y'all. And it was at the wrong cinema. It's actually the center in South Haven, cinema in South Haven that I was supposed to be going to. And they actually don't start up to the 18th. So I'm just going to go because I that was my intent to go. So I said, well, you know what? Just go on back Sunday and go there. You know, so go there. But I, like I said, I enjoyed the service. I went to Sunday. And it just so happened they had, they had church in the, so, oh, excuse me, services in the theater. I done started hiccuping, which means I'm full. Finally, I don't off these darn cucumbers. I got them darn wings in there, but I ain't got to eat them right now. It ain't like I'm going nowhere. What y'all doing? That Y'all, the weather's turned so nice here. And I saw something, y'all. Y'all, y'all, do y'all work right after Labor Day? Yeah, I do. I don't mind. But it was so funny. I saw a, um, <laughs> I saw a, thing and said something he would make it up it was a comedy sketch and he was talking about wearing white after labor day right and i had this white dress out i said well, I, well should i wear this dress but it was so funny i thought man do it it's an after labor day and i didn't realize it's fall and i saw like the trick-or-treat can i said i guess i should get some actual candy for the kids you know, probably the end of this month or the beginning of the next month, get a couple of big bags of candy. But I don't think I'm going to put it out like I did last year because I know some older kids came by and just dumped the bowl, left two pieces. And my Emma said, Mama, I told you not to put that can out there. So I probably will just get a chair and sit out there on the porch and hand the candy out this year to the little kids. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do to y'all. Uh, I don't know if the neighborhood, it would be better if they had like a trunk or thing around here. And I know a lot of people would only, look, I don't care. Uh, I love God. I love God. And I will tell y'all I love God. I've been a kid. I've been a kid. And a lot of churches do the trunk or treats or something around here because they recognize that children are children. You know, you can teach your children about God and teach them right. They're still going to want some of the things that other children have. And it's nothing wrong. I would rather give something out from my home and know that it's good and it's safe than have them not get something good and safe. I don't mind. I've been a child once. I don't mind giving out. And if you don't do that, then, hey, don't do it. 
don't do it you know but i don't need no speeches about you supposed to be a christian and that. It ain't nobody celebrating no ghosts and goblins i'm blessing the children with some treats that's what i'm doing now what you do and what you want to do is your business but that's what's going on over here that's what my plan is and if i wasn't doing it here and if i was a member of the church i would donate something but i'm not a member of a church anyway i would donate candy and stuff for the children there I know a lot of the churches let them dress up as biblical characters and stuff like that so they can have fun as well and still have some treat bags and stuff too, which I think is a blessing. But anyway, everybody going to have their own opinion on it. Now, I'm not saying my opinion is right and I'm not saying yours is right or wrong. You know, just, so don't go on that. Don't go on that. You know, some folks are getting an uproar. Ugh. Shy any little thing, you know. <laughs> Y'all know that's my little soapbox. That's my little soapbox moment. Of course, I've been over everywhere talking about some of everything. What y'all doing this weekend anyway? I want to get up. Like I said, it's really nice here. It's 77 degrees here today. The sky is so beautiful and blue. I love looking at the clouds. I know when I was a kid, I used to lay in the brown and look at the clouds and just think out, make out different things. And sometimes I can swear I think God is just sitting there just watching people and just saying these people are just a whole live mess. But it's still some good ones, so it's still hope. I'm going to keep on. I'm going to keep on. There's light over there. There's light over there. And Sandra, there's light over there. And David, there's light over there. And Brandon, there's light over there. You know, there's still hope for this world. Y'all, as bad as things are, there's still hope for this world. God, love is real. His people are real. It's still good people. It's still good people that's not judgmental and not trying to hold you to the fire about every little thing you do. Because we've all have fallen short. And thank for God, grace and mercy that he saved us. You know, that Jesus died on the cross for us and that he saved us. And, and you know, we just have to confess with our mouth that we love the Lord. We believe Christ died for our sins and we saved. And I, I just am a true believer that God loves us and his love is there and it's nothing like the love of God. That's my sermon for today. That's my sermon. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I hope it's nice. But like I said, I'm hoping to go to the lake and I've been holding these tickets to um, go see Alice in Wonderland until it got to be the weather got to be nice because it was just too hot. Every weekend I said I was going to go it either rained or it was just too hot. And so I'm like, now that the weather is kind of cooled down some, I may go out to the botanical gardens tomorrow. Cause like I said, I already have the tickets and take a walk around to the, my, my coworker said it's not very big, the Alice in Wonderland exhibit. So I'm thinking I want to do that. And I really need to go to Lowe's and get some more home defense spray sweep up in my garage again and spray around there and spray around in my back porch and stuff. Amber asked me when I was going to barbecue again. I'm not going to do it this weekend for sure. And she's going to, I have some tickets to a concert next month that I'm going to, she's going to go with me. And I'm also, she's going to Las Vegas next month. So I'm thinking about, um, uh, having some work come in, having a housekeeper come in when she gone, I'm thinking about doing that because Amber's just zero help as far as cleaning and maintaining. And some of the things I just can't do like I want to some days, you know, I have to kind of, it depends on how I feel and I'm able to kind of do what I do it in spurts. But I really want somebody to mop up good and clean around my baseboard. So I'm thinking about just paying a housekeeper for that. To do that i'm thinking y'all of doing um since i've been doing the shorts every day and i don't get paid from the shorts or anything because i don't have enough views on my shorts you have to have a lot of views on your shorts to get paid from them on youtube but um it has helped my channel <laughs> grow and the people that come from my shorts watch my longer videos which I'm thankful for. And I want to thank everybody, all my subscribers, everybody in the uh, family over here. I appreciate you, whether you're old, whether you're day one, day 101, you know, or whatever day this is. After all these years, I thank you because you could go and watch anybody's channel you want to watch. There's plenty of channels out here. 
you know, and, I, and if you want to start a channel, I want to tell you to don't stop yourself from starting because it is so many. Because your voice is unique. And somebody may want to hear your voice over whatever. You know, whatever kind of content you want to do, you know, you do it. You know, share whatever you want to share. But I will tell you, I've said this before, don't get in it for the money because it may be a long time before you earn. Get into it because it's something you really want to do. Now, some people have gotten and, and blew, you know, completely up. You have to look at, like, the B-Loves and look at, like, what, Peach McIntyre. <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. And, um... Oh, it's so nice out here. I hate to even go in the house, y'all. It's nice out here. Ooh, this is my type of weather. So I'm going to probably grill. I'm, I'm back on that now. I'm back on that. I'm probably going to grill probably the end of September. My sister-in-law invited us to her birthday party. Of course, if she lives in Houston, by the way. <laughs> I pop up on her on the weekend but I was telling Amber well I've been wanting to go to a few little places I want to take a little weekend trip to um that's the only thing about me is I will get up and drive like on a Saturday to go to New Orleans and stay one night and come on back you know I was able to do those turnaround trips I'm not as much and my brother hadn't been feeling up to doing a lot lately so I hate he that's my road dog you know, he ain't really been able to kind of roll with me, so. And I know it's not good for me, you know, with my mobility being as bad as now. I still go. <laughs> I still go. But um, I shouldn't just always just be so up to quick. My cousin did tell me recently he'll ride with me, but I think that I went to see my aunt. He did tell me he would ride with me, but I don't know if that's everywhere because I be done dragged him across the country. <laughs> Come on here, let's go. <laughs> But anyway, then him hop along Cassidy, and he gonna be fooling with me, probably get on his nerves, so. But anyway, yeah, you know, I like to kind of go. I went over to um, the dog track yesterday evening. Was it yesterday evening? Yesterday evening. And just to, um, just to see. I just wanted to see how it's changed. The casino part is nice now. I don't know. Um, I would like to go over there maybe one night and stay at the hotel and um and just go and stay one night have me a little staycation but i don't want to pay they'll have to come me a room or something cause, ugh, i ain't going over there to pay for no room now because them rooms are like they kind of high you know i was looking at this thing on like i think it was gainesville alabama or something like that and it was this barbecue restaurant see this is the kind of stuff i like to do uh, I would get in the car. This is a three and a half hour drive, though. But I can't eat like that, so. But I would like, wouldn't mind going, like going, getting in the car, just going on a three and a half hour drive to go taste. And then you get there, and the food don't even be good. So I always be trying to look when I want to do stuff like that to see if it's something else, you know, around in that city or in that state or area. You know, do y'all do like kind of car trips like that? Now the gas is going down, this is a fine time to do it. Like, you know, take little little quick little road turnaround trips, especially if you have somebody to go with you and you could drive half the way and they could drive the other half the way back. It wouldn't be so bad. You know, you can kind of do day turns and um, go. Now I am going to go to, because um, I like Papa Do's, and I am going to go probably the earlier week in November and hopefully my brother will feel up to it to um, ride to Birmingham with me and we'll ride back that day. We'll go there early. I know we've been to Birmingham several times. We'll go to just to go have dinner or something to lunch at Papa Do's and kind of funnel around in Birmingham. It would be nice if we had a show or something we could go to, you know, and I wouldn't mind getting a hotel for a night if we had a show we could go to too like some type of jazz show or something like that. I'll have to look when we do decide to go to see if it's something. But that's the stuff I like to do. Anyway, I ain't been talking. I've just been rambling and talking. I ain't been really just talking about nothing in particular. Y'all know how I do, though. Y'all used to me with this foolishness. 
<laughs> y'all know if I don't be back tomorrow, like I said, well, I might talk to y'all when I'm out at the lake. But um, I'm glad y'all joined me today. I'm glad you did. You know I am. You know you love. I love you. And God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all. And like I said, if I don't see y'all tomorrow, I'll definitely see y'all on Sunday. Bye. And if I decide to go to bingo one or two days, I'm going to take y'all with me for a minute at least. Bye. <laughs>